how are you and welcome to another video at my youtube channel so today we are going to be making our own stencils um, the stencils that I'm gonna be making in here actually are free images from the Cricut Design Space um, images so I just click on here and then what happened was I was browsing through the free this week um, items and then I found that overlays if I just type it in here because there's just thousands of images in there and hit enter and it's gonna give you images like this so I'm not sure what this was meant for I think they were meant for card making but um, <clears throat> although that's exactly what I was gonna use it for um, this is pretty nice I'm gonna click on that now, um, the stencil that we're going to be making is um, we're going to be using Mylar sheets. So the Mylar sheets that I got actually came from Amazon. It's cheaper there um, and they're fairly thin so it can cut it pretty well. I already tested it with just the uh, ones that I made manually and then I saw this so I thought, you know, make some more. Um, yeah, so I already had two picked out in there. I picked out another two and let's go ahead and insert those images now the acetate film that I got from Amazon is a 12 by 12 sheet so I'm just going to go ahead and distribute this even evenly into four sizes this one won't be I don't think that it would actually fit it but I'd still fix that in there Move this a little further, just a little, so it can hit the 12 mark. If I unlock it, it's going to be not proportioned as well. Okay, so this one I can put here. I am actually looking at the grid lines on here so it's good that it, you can see the 12 that's my end mark and the 12 in here that I'm not passing it so that's good you know what maybe I'll change this one here and then find a square one so it actually just fits the whole entire thing um, let's pick, yeah, I'll just pick this one. All right, so that is over here, just going to size it up. there all right so <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and actually gonna save this first um, stencils save that I like the snowflakes in here so when I make my cards it, this is gonna be like a winter theme card kind of thing or even Christmas but I like that snowflakes it's very intricate there all right so you begin by opening the app the Cricut app and then on the upper left side it says categories you're gonna pick your project and then this is the one I started I'm just opening it up for you to see and then where it says well what you're gonna do is to edit it first and then change everything to the same color so you go to the cut and then I just randomly picked clear or white so everything could be in the same mat so I've learned that about Cricut is you know if you want everything to cut in one mat then <laughs> you have to select the same color for all of them all right so I managed to put in four in there and the size of my mylar sheet is 12 by 12 okay so this is the fun part where it says snap mat on the lower left that's where it's actually going to take a picture of your mat 
And then depending on where you put it, in this case, mine is a 12 by 12, so it really covered the whole thing. Um, but this trick, well, not really a trick, this this is posted all over Cricut website. Um, it's, uh, it's a good tool for you to use. So, um, yeah, it took about an hour or more for the for the stencil to cut just because they were very intricate uh, very detailed um, there were snowflakes in there um, different kinds of circles and geometric shapes and stuff but yeah it turned out good all right you guys so <clears throat> I'm just so surprised because this is how it looked like like all of them, all four of them are on here. It took a while for Cricut to do it just because look at how small they are. And especially the snowflakes. They're very detailed. I think I'm going to need a new blade after this. But yeah, it sure did cut all of it in one. And then now I'm just going to... I have this Zizix tool thing I'm above where I can go like that and it technically should scratch it off. Let me see here. My spatula. Ooh. Ooh. It's like butter. Nice. It that's for all four of them. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get one of these thingamabobbers. And I made a stencil. Look at that. I made my own. Nice. That'll be nice there. And then I could just scrape that like that with this thingamabobber. Don't have to worry about that. And then the next one is this again I'll be using this for card making I'm not even gonna try it with um, wood or any type of other projects that I may think of because this is quite flimsy this film and if I'm going to do that then I'd have to actually put like um, temporary ad adhesive like an adhesive spray on the back so it won't seep through when I go and try to use a stencil on a wood this one in particular is very intricate the snow the snowflakes for my winter projects my winter cards gotta be careful with this because you don't want to break any fractals. <laughs> Elf is going to be mad. Oopsie daisies. Come on now. I can even save the, um, <clears throat> the ones that stick on the mat and use it as like sprinklers or confetti for some shaker cards that I that I make oh by golly this is so delicate but yeah that's what it is so what I would do with this is to grab a like a sponge thing and then just do blending on top of it with the color. I'm going to do a separate video on that and how I use all these. But yeah, just that's just a quick video for you and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.